Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Raj Dandekar. I graduated with a PhD in machine learning from MIT and I completed my undergraduate from IIT Madras. This is the first lecture of this new playlist which we are starting called uh, Machine Learning Mornings with Vijwara AI. The reason we started this playlist or the reason we are deciding to start this playlist is because the number of subscribers, the number of people who are coming to our channel is growing very rapidly. And uh, people predominantly come to this channel because of the quality of the content which we have, the in-depth lecture quality on different topics such as building a neural network from scratch, building large language models from scratch, foundations of machine learning, decision trees, machine learning research, and so many other topics which we cover on our channel. But we thought that although we have so many topics, we have so many courses, we have so many playlists, the daily interaction with the subscribers, with the audience is missing a bit. And we were discussing ideas on how to bridge this gap. So we came up with this playlist, which is called Machine Learning Mornings, where every morning a member from our team will put up a video it will be a short video, 5 to 10 minutes long, but it will introduce a key concept or a key idea in the field of machine learning. It can be a video about the best ways to learn machine learning. It can be a video about the initial projects to get started with, or it can be video about a concept in ML, how to publish your first research paper in machine learning, how best to apply for graduate school in machine learning, how to crack job interviews, a wide range of topics. But it will be a topic which is new and it will be derived from our experiences at MIT and at IITs. Uh, the new research in this field is happening every single day. Yesterday itself I read a paper, Google, it was published by Google DeepMind about watermarking and how we can avoid plagiarism in the age of large language models. We can even discuss some of these modern research paper topics in one of these videos. Essentially, when you wake up in your morning or let's say if you're traveling to work within just five to 10 minutes, you can watch this video um, and it will introduce a key concept or a key idea. So you can interact through the comments on this video and we'll be much more proactive in the comment section. The whole idea with this series is to start a conversation, start a dialogue with the subscribers so that it will add a lot of value to your life. So please be proactive in the comments, mention your thoughts, mention your ideas, and we'll try to even make videos based on that on the subsequent days. Today's topic, which I've chosen for the first day is the best way to learn machine learning. And uh, I learned about this the hard way. Uh, the first course which I took in machine learning was at MIT, and that was introduction to machine learning. This full course and its notes are available online for free and I'll share it with you. I did one mistake when I took that course and that was blindly copying the notes written on the blackboard and executing the uh, Google Colab code which was given to us during the lectures. I thought that I was understanding machine learning but I was really not. So what was missing? The missing piece of the puzzle was that I was not implementing or building things from scratch. And that is the key idea or concept which I want to introduce in this video. The importance of building things from scratch. What's happening in this day of machine learning and AI is that things are advancing so rapidly that people are just doing Kaggle projects. They're using chat GPT to copy code and they're running these projects and adding it on their resume. That's led to a crisis, a crisis of in-depth understanding of machine learning concepts. The problem with this approach is that you can add this project to your resume, you can add it to your CV, but so will thousands of other learners, so will thousands of other students. What really sets you apart? That's the reason you have to focus on learning every single thing from scratch. Because if you learn things from scratch, you will understand the nuts and bolts of, of how machine learning models work. And then you will be able to do unique projects. Then you will be able to do research projects and even have a publication, which other students will not have. But to have that confidence of working on a machine learning research project, you need to know how neural networks work from scratch. You need to know how large language models work from scratch. There are 90% of the people using large language models are just running an API call at this moment. 
there are very few people who know how to build a large language model from scratch and if you can build your own gpt that's that opens a wide range of possibilities that opens the possibilities for doing projects on small language models that opens the possibility for doing projects on multimodal language models if you think that okay why does gpt2 let's say have 12 transformer blocks or 24 transformer blocks why can't i just have one transformer block let me do this experiment this experiment will only be possible if you know how gpt2 was built from scratch that's the importance of learning things from scratch similar to neural networks all of us use the adam optimizer it's one of the best and most widely used optimizers right but how many of us know how exactly the adam optimizer works why is it so popular why does it work so well if you want to do a project which introduces a new machine learning optimizer how will you be able to do this project if you don't know how the adam optimizer works you may use the optimizer in your google colab code but that doesn't teach you the nuts and bolts of how the, that optimizer is working that's similar with so many other sub fields of machine learning and that's where this building things from scratch comes into the picture this year we have put up three playlists on our youtube channel building neural networks from scratch building large language models from scratch and building decision trees from scratch try going through those lectures try going through those videos i'm pretty sure that the amount of knowledge and the confidence which you have after going through those videos will be much more than just blindly copying kaggle or github projects and when you're learning things from scratch it might be hard things might be tough because you might need to go into mathematics foundations coding foundations but it's all worth it the more time you spend right now it will pay off later but if you do something quickly it might give you quick results but it won't develop a firm or a foundational understanding let me know everyone what you think of this approach what have you built from scratch or what you are looking forward to build from scratch the main idea or concept which i wanted to introduce in today's edition of machine learning mornings is the concept of building things from scratch and how it is lacking from all the courses from all the learning right now thank you so much everyone we'll be putting these so small videos every single day so that the interaction with the audience is improved and increased you can even let us know the topics on which you want us to make these short videos so that you can watch them in the mornings and then go about with the rest of your day thanks a lot and i look forward to seeing you in the next video